Your grades are bad? Well, they're not oh. bad. They're like iffy. They're iffy? Yeah. I was well, doing good, then I started doing homework. Okay. I doing good again. So, marking period three, we're looking at it's a 77.7. Geometry is a 75.5. Chemistry is 76.2. U.S. History, 71. TV Productions, an 86. Gym, a 91. Spanish 2 is an 82. So you're right there at that 75, B, yeah, the C, B range. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Gotta get B's. You gotta get B's? Yeah, I gotta get up to get B's. Okay. So, do you remember, I, I remember you from when I was interning with Ms. 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 Solanke. Mm -hmm. And you were meeting with her as well. So, it's been a reoccurring issue, right? Mm -hmm. So, but, but how, like, how has, how have you changed from your freshman year until, like, up until? Last year, I was just, I didn't care. Like, I was just, like, just going to pass. And this year, I'm, like, trying somewhat to get these. Because last year, I was just, like, I got 70. Okay. I'm going to stay at 70. Now, I'm, like, all right, let me try to get to 80. Okay. And, listen, you started off great. First marking period, 81, 88. 71, 75, 76. You're like you, it's something that you have definitely a goal that you have hidden in a couple of your classes. So, mm. I mean, it's not like you can't do it, right? Right, yeah. You, exactly. you have accomplished it. Right, definitely. Um, now I know, I know your parents came in to, to make your schedule for next year, <laughs> and then I forgot. Um, but how do you feel about? Like your goals compared to what your parents' goals are for you. They want. They say try to get A's, you gonna end up with B's. Well, try, try to get A's, then you end up with A's, and then the classes you struggle in, you won't get B's. And then they just want me to like go above and beyond and all this. What do you want to do all that? Just want to chill. But like, my mom chose physics. I wasn't gonna choose physics. I was gonna choose the easier class. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like. Did you change it with Mr. Palumbo? Mm -hmm. I didn't change anything. I just left it. Okay. The only thing I do have to change is though, Miss Sickler told me not to take her next year. Yeah. Miss Sickler is for what? what uh, oh, TV Studio? Yeah. Why, <laughs> why did she tell you not to take her next year? Because. Should I ask? I'm going to be good. Like, I'm not, I don't want to act up in the class or anything. It's just once I finish my work, I always just want to go to the gym. And she'll sign me passing her. I go to the gym. Next year, she says she's not doing that. So don't take her next year. Because I'm going to be stuck in the class. And she don't want to be stuck in the class with me that long. So that's what it is. I mean, is that what you, is that your tip, is that what you typically do in lawyer classes? Try to leave. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, if I can't leave, or if I'm not occupied the entire period, then I start, like. Right, you start looking for yeah, something to do. to do. So then I try to leave, and then if I end up leaving, then I end up in detention. Because I don't go back to class. Yeah, um, that's not good. Yeah, it's not good. That's not good, but um, but I'm glad that you recognize it at least. So you, it's not like you're completely oblivious and you're like, no, I'm, I'm doing everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you, you, you know what needs to be, you know, what needs to be changed at this point. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, going on forward, you have next year. But I just, I just like you know, I want to meet with you because right now. Freshman, sophomore year, a lot of freshmen and sophomores like don't get that attention. You know, they don't talk about college because they're like, oh, that's so far ahead. Mm -hmm. But realistically, you know, junior and senior year, it's kind of like, all right, like, what are the steps you're going to take? And if you're not kind of there yet, it's it could be challenging. And then it becomes overwhelming because your junior year, you're like looking at colleges and then you don't know what exactly to look for. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, we talk about college, 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 but there's also... Um, alternative programs that you can go into. Um, it's just a matter of having a plan at this point, you know, and, and just where you see yourself, whether it's college, whether it's a vocational school, or whether it's at a community college, starting off there, figuring what is it that you want to do, and then going off um, possibly into a four-year or, or um, into something that you see yourself excelling in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like something to do after high school. Yeah, exactly. What do you? Where do you see yourself? I'm taking um, into consideration that graduation is 
you know, yeah. there. Um, unless I get a full scholarship, which chances are that. So probably gonna end up in the military. In the military? Mm-hmm. Have you spoken to your parents about that? Mm-hmm. Their... Well, I told my mom. She told me that I'm just using that as an excuse to not to try in school. I'm always wrong too, though. But and I'm always trying to find an easy way out. But yeah, she wants to. That's what she wants to say. I'm trying to take the easy way out. I'm gonna just go to the military, and that they don't think I'll even stay in the military because I don't like people telling me what to do in the military. That's all they do. Just yelling at me. Well, it's a different. It's a di- definitely a different dynamic than what you know you get in a school setting. Mm-hmm. Um, but all of that is to take into consideration. How do you feel about changing? into that type of, like, military setting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like the different standards I'll be held to, so it's like... Right, exactly. Um, are you okay with that, though? Yeah. I'm, if I don't get a full scholarship, I have to go to the military. It's like... <laughs> you don't get a full scholarship? Yeah, because... Like, I'm ready to be paying no partial scholarship. Or no, so if I don't get a full scholarship, I'm going to the military. Okay, and then... Okay, so let's say you do get, let's say hypothetically you do get a full time scholarship. Where would your interests lie? Well, you want in basketball because mm-hmm. I like playing basketball. Love playing basketball. You love playing des- mm-hmm. basketball? Okay, so that that is. Um, Keeps me out of trouble. Yeah, that's definite. It definitely is. Uh, but that, that could be a gateway for you to go into college and, you know, especially to, to do well in school. I mean,. Yeah, they hold you to us. They hold you to a certain standards, and you do play other teams. Yeah, and it's good. It's definitely good. And, and imagine if if you like being busy with basketball, like you can do like B's, C's. Mm-hmm. I think the the busier a lot. What I found is that a lot of students, like you know, the busier they are, the more time they they don't have to, to you know, get into trouble. The more time they can actually you know not only do basketball, but get their homework completed and you know, look for extra help. So, um, some things to take into consideration, but you also have to build yourself, right? Um, how have you, like, I know you said basketball is kind of your passion, your mm-hmm. hobby, your sport. Yeah. But what about, like, have you thought about, have you joined any clubs? Are there anything, is there anything else that interests you? No, I didn't join. I ain't really on any clubs or anything like that. It's just sports, like I'm all all around athlete. Like I'm just athletic. So like I could play a sport for like a season, but okay. nah, I, didn't. I didn't do one for fall. I did basketball, track, and did shoot because I was really stupid. And then spring, I was going to do volleyball. I don't know, that doesn't know what that is. So can you can you fill me in on what happened to basketball this season? Um I didn't go to practice. It was like it was like a combined like built up, but mm-hmm. ultimately it was um I didn't go to practice and my grades weren't up to par. Okay. Like if they have seventy seven, it's like I was still passing everything, so I'll still be on the team. I just would have been on academic probation. Okay. I had to go to homework for it, but I wasn't going to practice anyway. So Why weren't you going to like, practice? Because it was winter break. I feel like I'm, and I wasn't getting no burn anyway. So I was like, right, I'm going to just stay at home. So, but do you feel like you are at that level? Like, what do you. And I, it was like, like I wanted to play JV. I didn't want to play varsity. I didn't want to be on the bench on varsity and not play. And then not play JV at all. I would rather just play JV. And have more play time? Yeah. Uh, So from what you're telling me, I'm getting the sense that you would have gone into varsity? Mm -hmm. Like, I was on, like, I had my spot already. And I was on the team for, like, the first game I played, I came off the bench. I was... And then... The second game, I couldn't play because I got in trouble. Because I wasn't doing my homework in homework club. I was playing around. And then the next.
next game, I couldn't play because I didn't go to the practice right before. And then if they made me sit on the bench, the JB game, so I just sat on the bench the whole game. And I went to like overtime. So it was like real long and boring. And they lost. Should have put me in. But then I watched the whole varsity game, sat on the bench the whole game. Then it was break. And I was like, I'm not playing. So I'm not going back. And I got kicked off. So now looking back, like at your decisions now in retrospect, I should have stayed up, stayed with it because I just did my work, which is not acting immature, and then I would stay on the team and probably would have got to go play on the JV too. So I probably would have played both. You would have been like a floater, right? Mm -hmm. You would have been a yeah, that would have been. Well, I mean, I, I give you credit for at least, um, you know, recognizing your, you know, your behavior wasn't up to standard, but now I think you have another year to look forward to, because this is your sophomore year, so yeah. you have two more years to, to really give it your all and put all the effort, um, especially if you want to get a scholarship, right? Mm -hmm. Do you do any... Basketball? Do you play basketball outside of school? Yeah. Um. Right now, I have practices Thursdays and Tuesdays and Thursdays at the middle school with Blake Hamilton from uh, Working Moms now. I think yeah, so it's gonna be Working Moms. Oh, Moms University. Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. Cool. And JJ. He was like a sub here, and he was, he was the freshman coach. It'd be JJ Blake, some guy from Find the Ball League. He seemed like coach. He called Coach Trap. And Raheem Carter was in the gym yesterday. He used to play here, and now he's just hopping over. He's like really good. Oh, wow. Great. Um. And then I play sometimes with Mr. Bennett from uh, the trailer. He gets like teams together and we play AU teams. That'd be fun. That's so cool. That's awesome. Um, yeah, fun. So you're you're definitely in it, like mm -hmm. even though you weren't part of the, of the high school team. But that's great. Um, but again, like that's like I like that you have something. Like at least that's like your motivation to keep your grades up. But um, what do you? What are your interests? Like other than basketball. Other than sports. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like TV production studio? Did you like TV studio production? I like being a TV studio. Is like I like filming it, and I know how to edit. But it's like I can help out with it. I can I could do a whole project by myself, but it's like I'm not gonna pull out the best results. Like I can help like here and there, but like if you need me to be in your film, tell me to do this. If I really feel like doing it, I'm gonna do it. It's gonna come out good. But if I don't feel like doing it, it's not gonna come out right. Okay. Gotta be good. And what makes you feel it? Just having a good day or not. And I'm a very up and down person. Okay. And what mm -hmm. what depends on that? Good breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Uh, whatever is like going on at home, like my mom goes in here and yell at me. I'm from the school with attitude. I'm gonna fix the day. Mom will yell at me from the school, everything good, with friends, girlfriend, all that, I'm straight. Most of it usually ends up coming down to what's going on with me and my girlfriend. I gotta stop letting that affect me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to be able to separate Everything. your personal life and your academic life and your social life. Mm -hmm. to, right? That's, that's what I'm getting from. Yeah. Great. So, um... So, again, so what are your interests? So you don't like, so you, what you're telling me is TV production, you like it, you can do it, but it's you're not there where you can 100% like love it. Yeah. Do you like, like, do you like English, history? Well, I hate English. <laughs> I hate writing. It's okay. the worst. Um, it's a good tool to have, though. Like, I can write, but it's like, I don't like writing. I like presenting 
Like, I like going to pre-vocation. That's fun. Okay. I like going up in front of the class. So you're not... Knowing what, knowing what I'm talking about. So you're not camera shy. You're not, no. like, you're not scared of presenting or being no. in, in large groups of people. Great. Mm-hmm. So that's something that naturally comes out from you. Mm-hmm. What else? Do you like history? Yeah, it's an extent. <laughs> but... I like his like the class itself, like my teacher's school, Macalino. But like when he comes to writing essays and it's like sometimes it's like it's usually like just one big story and then you just remember everything. So it's like kind of fun. Because like the only thing is I hate remembering the dates. Yeah. You can yeah, you can just do this. I didn't wanna Oh yeah, no, you're fine. Thank you. You're wrong. I just don't like remembering the dates. The dates? Yeah, it's like That's what, yeah. you have to memorize everything. It's like Yeah, well. Yeah, there's three dates. Yeah, I remember the order. I just remember the date. <laughs> Got an 84 on my test, though, so I'm good. There you go. Okay. It's a B. <laughs> nice. Um, how are you doing in math? Math's easy. I just don't be doing it all like that. I don't like homework either. You don't like homework? No. So how do you plan to get in like a, a full scholarship if you don't like to do homework? I'm gonna do my homework in class. How are you? Well, college is a little bit different. I don't know. College gonna be a new standard that I'm gonna have to meet. That's what I always told my mom. Give me a standard. I have to start doing more than the minimum. Mm-hmm. Once I start doing more than the minimum, because I want to do more than the minimum, then that's when I'll just be fine. No one will have to tell me no. When do you think that time is going to come? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm starting it. Like, it's starting Yeah, no, and I, and I acknowledge that, and I think that's a great start. And I'm happy that you recognize that. You know, last year wasn't your year. Mm-hmm. You didn't get off to a great start. Um, but right now, you're making a turnaround, and you're actually realizing and recognizing that, you know, you need to, you need to kick it up Take a bit. Yeah. Um, so I would love for the next time that we meet for you to, have you taken a personality test? Mm, no. No? So it's a, so it, it's a kind of a test that, that you take and it, and it just shows you your strengths, your weaknesses, and then it sets you, it kind of provides more of an explanation of like your behavior. So like, why do I like to be in front of large crowds of people? Like what type of personality do I have? And based on your personality, it kind of provides you with an overview of possible career and interest areas you might want to go into. Um, would that be something you would be interested in yeah. looking into? Okay. Sound like fun. That does sound like fun. Um, <laughs> but more more so just to give you an insight on on where you're at and possibly where you want to be. Because although basketball is an awesome is an awesome um, career path and an awesome awesome option we also would like to to set up you know not only plan a but also plan b and plan c in case things don't work so just having that in the in the back of your mind is always helpful and i think through getting like a personality test you can at least um know where your strengths where your weaknesses are and where your interests lie um so so that would be fun um how's everything at home i think fun like, I keep to myself. Okay. Very, very reserved. Mm, I think my room in my home. Okay. Do you have siblings? Yeah. Do you have a sister? Mm-hmm. What grade is she? Eighth. Eighth grade? Well, I have older, but none of them came from longer. Okay. Like, well, I, mean, I have four younger ones who live with me. So how many siblings do you have in total? My dear child. Six. And then me. So seven in total? Mm-hmm. And they are both from your from both parents? Oh, okay. So they're my dad I, so my dad has my dear's mom, Diamond's mom, and my mom. Four different baby moms. And then there's my stepdad. So it's four moms, two different dads. But that all the kids came from an alpha. Okay. So you are you like the only? I have one full sibling. Oh okay. So 
so that's and you you get along very well with your siblings other sister like yeah <laughs> to an extent i mean we argue of course but yeah good friends it's not an ordeal cool who's that sister even my sister is she the eighth grader mm-hmm. oh. my little brother my little homie though you're his probably his role model People always tell me that, but like you don't copy me, like you don't do anything I do. Yeah, but you, you know. talk trash like I do, though. That's, that's <laughs> there you I go. Do. I'm a little competitive. He's not like we're as competitive, but you know, he saw because we were raised different. I'm the oldest boy in my house, like besides my dad. Like out of the kids, I'm the oldest, so I have to be. He's like the youngest, so he, they just get really soft. It's just the way it is. He's always like that. The youngest one gets soft. They're soft? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. He be crying. When I was that age, you cry, you do push-ups. Is that, is that how it works in your yeah. household? Okay. But overall, you get along. Mm-hmm. Well, that's great. Um, and your relationship with your, your parents is fine. Yeah. My mom and my stepdad were cool. My dad's, like, in and out the picture always, so. Like, he tries, but, like, I'd be busy, and he lives in, like, Pennsylvania. So I'm not going all the way out there or to Montclair to my grandma's house. I have stuff to do. Montclair? Yes, my uh, grandmother lives. So, you know, like, me and my sisters. Paternal grandma? My, my dad's mom. Your dad's mom? Yeah, so they're all over with me. And all the cousins, like, we all get together, but I don't like, it's a long drive. I don't like long drive. Sitting down too long. Yeah, but I think from meeting your parents, I think they mean well, and they're always um, looking out for you. And although, from what you're telling, <laughs> your mom can be, what did you say, obnoxious or um, <laughs> tough. <laughs> I think I think they mean well, and and they want the best for you, and they're pushing you because uh, they want you know they know that you can excel. to recognize that because you know not all parents um, yeah, yeah they, was some, they told me that a lot they were like what you don't want us to care and like, want us to do one of them things and just like, take care of you whatever no no I want you to succeed and do better than we do so, yeah. yeah yeah definitely so it's always important to, to at least acknowledge the, the effort that they're putting in because oftentimes that um, not everyone has has that same opportunity to, to have parents that are like there that come in to do your schedule. Parents are like life coaches. Life coaches, yeah. <laughs> life coaches, exactly. So it's important to just appreciate it and just say, you know, thank you. Even though it can be difficult at mm-hmm. times, right? I definitely I definitely know that that's, that's always the case, especially growing up and going, you know, having, going to school and then having to hear it at home. Um, but awesome. Um, it was nice getting to chat with you. Mm-hmm. And um, hopefully we can I can check in with you later this week. I know we talked about grades a little bit. Um, I know you're, are you, can you get it? It's like two weeks before the market day ends. Yeah, so you still have time to, to get these. And it's, you know, it's 77, 75, so I think you can, I'm pretty sure there's probably a test or a quiz oh, yeah, it's coming like a up. Whole, yeah, it's like, that test comes up in all my classes. There you go. Like five points. Like that. That's um, five points. You can do it. Ooh, I got four points. Okay. Nobody want to read four chapters of Petra and Iraq. Okay. <laughs> you gotta do it. Just... Split it into to days. Look at the days you need to get it done by, and then okay. split it up today. <laughs> I gotta do it today. Today, read it tomorrow. I gotta read it. So I know to read during class today. Okay. So divide it. Do ten pages in the morning or afternoon, and then to ten pages later. Highlight. Take notes. So then you know where. 
of specific things happen and then go from there. Well, you, yeah, you'll definitely figure it out. I think I think you have, I think you've um, come a long way from freshman year, mm -hmm. and you're you're getting there. You're getting there. I know your friend Elijah, Elijah mm -hmm. was concerned about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, like that's my best friend. That's like if anyone like that I know our age has it together, she does. And like me and her are like opposite, but like we get along real well. And like she'll always like check me, put me in place if I'm violent or something like that. <laughs> Sometimes we need that, right? Always, yeah. We need that friend to, to push us a little bit more than we can handle. But that's good. I think I think that's a good uh, support mm -hmm. for you. She's like a life coach, too, which is my age. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. You have so many life coaches. I I definitely see great things coming out mm -hmm. in the future. So, so take that in mind, and then we'll look into the personality. She should um, be talking to me. Yeah. She needs me to talk to her. There you go. Maybe you can make that suggestion. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell her that. I got her in my class right now. There you go. <laughs> I'm right. about to tell her to come over. Yeah. <laughs> no. She probably, yeah. yeah she probably I wouldn't have surprised. She would have sat right there. Like, I wouldn't mm -hmm. have been surprised if, if she would have came mm -hmm. with you. Um, great. Well, um, I'm looking forward to meeting with you and getting this personality assessment done so then we can kind of talk about it and you can have a better idea of where you want to be and, and just have your options laid out and so you can make the, the best option for you. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for, for meeting with me and I hope you have a great day. You too. So, to the end of, just a win, like. <laughs> I know, the wind is really strong right now. But, um, do you need a pass? No, I'm good. Where are you? Gym, right? Driver's Ed. Driver's Ed. Permit. There you, you know, go. I'm like, I'm 22. I'm like 16. Oh my god. I remember those days. <laughs>